Giant crumbling icebergs and animals roaming the Arctic looking for food are the images typically associated with climate change. They are alarming, of course, but they also seem a world away. You don't have to travel far, though, to witness a changing environment, just across the river from where I'm standing, as a matter of fact. For a variety of reasons, coastal position, the jet stream, quickly warming waters among them, New Jersey is considered by many scientists to be ground zero for climate change in the United States. As part of our NBC News series, Climate in Crisis, Ann Thompson visits the Garden State in our Sunday Spotlight. You don't have to go to where polar bears live to see the impact of climate change. In fact, ducks will do just fine. This is Lake Hopatcom in the exotic locale of New Jersey. I imagine when we do this story, people are gonna go, climate change, New Jersey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> For Jessica Murphy, it's no laughing matter. Lake Hopatcong, where she grew up, got married, and still spends summers, fouled this year by an algae bloom, restricting swimming for much of July. Sinking Murphy's plans to give her three children the kind of summer she enjoyed. This should be one of the best summers of their lives, and instead it was kind of off limits, and that was really heartbreaking to see because I never experienced anything like that. The algae bloom fueled by heavy rains, runoff from the surrounding towns, and water temperatures that have jumped almost three degrees Fahrenheit in 20 years. The bloom tying up businesses around the lake, including Ray Fernandez Bridge Marina. You know, we probably lost something in the order of about 500 customers this summer. Wow. We didn't launch as many boats this year in regards to our boat rentals, like they just weren't in the water. It's no better in the winter. A century ago, this was home to a thriving ice business where people skated and even sailed on the frozen lake. And for Tim Clancy, it was an ice fishing paradise. The most popular ice fishing lake in all New Jersey, mainly because we generally used to have more ice than anybody else. And now? It's like a pack. And it's changed. According to the Knee Deep yeah. Fishing Club, 26 ice fishing contests have been canceled since 1998. Oh, yeah. The water just doesn't freeze enough. To think that, you know, in our watch, that we're going to let this slip through our hands, I hope not. State climatologist Dave Robinson says New Jersey's climate is out of balance, with many more record warm months than cold. Average temperatures have climbed three degrees Fahrenheit in the last century. The only state in the lower 48 warming more, Rhode Island. And what's causing this warming? Well, it's overall, it's the global warming pattern that we're seeing from human activity. With the impacts across New Jersey, at the shore, sea level is up 15 inches in the last century, leaving communities even more vulnerable to events like 2012 Superstorm Sandy. And in the Pinelands, winters are no longer cold enough to kill off invasive species. At the lake, Jessica Murphy is heeding the many red flags of climate change. If it can happen in, in this little on this little corner of the world, you know, it can really happen anywhere. A once future threat now at our shores. For Sunday Today, Ann Thompson, Lake Hopatcong, New Jersey. And as a New Jersey native, I didn't know we were the leading edge of climate change in the United States, frankly. It, you, aren't you surprised? Yeah. I mean, who would think? Because we always think of climate change as being at some off far area like the Arctic or Antarctica. But it's right here. We're living it in real time. And you can see the impact on businesses. At some point, you have to say, OK, and this is here. Now we have to grapple with it. And that's starting to change attitudes towards climate change. Jessica Murphy, who was in our piece, said she went to a commission meeting about what was happening at the lake. And when they put up the chart about what's happened to water temperatures in the last 20 years, all of a sudden, minds started to open because it wasn't a political issue. It was science, and it was right in front of them, and it's affecting their lives. Be turning some skeptics. Such an interesting piece, Anne. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. You can catch more of our series, Climate in Crisis, across the platforms of NBC News, including a special report from Al Roker in Greenland tomorrow on Today.